everyone, I'm Kirsten Smith, the Marketing Manager at CIR Realty. As part of our CIR Is Alberta Proud campaign, we are traveling in the province, central and southern Alberta, finding some amazing local businesses that we think that you should check out. Today we are just outside of Okotoks at the Chinook Honey Company, and we are going to teach you about honeybees, honey, and all the amazing things that honey can produce. We'll see you inside in a second with founder Sherry Andrews. I'm here with Sherry Andrews at the Chinook Honey Company just outside of Okotoks on a beautiful day and we were talking about that earlier because some days in Alberta it can be windy or rainy or smoky unfortunately <laughs> and we have these beautiful skies and I'm so glad you guys are able to see this place in that fashion because it is gorgeous. So Sherry, for people who haven't been here before, just give me a little bit of an overview on the, the bees, the shop, what all what is you guys here. do here. Right, yes. Well, we do quite a bit. We actually have, um, it's an apiary first and foremost. So we have honeybees and we do the beekeeping on a regular basis. Then uh, the other thing we are really big on is educating the public. So we have a discovery center here and we do a lot of educational programs. This morning we just had um, a whole, I think it was 40 child class of grade oh, twos. Nice. So um, uh, lots and lots of school uh, field trips and yeah. the other thing uh, is educational programs from the weekend for drop-ins, people interested in learning about bees and we have a new program backstage with the bees and if you see these hives out here we uh, dress people up in bee suits and we get uh, down and sticky. I won't say really? down and dirty. Down and down sticky. Down and sticky. Yes. That's awesome. So how much honey do you guys produce? Well, it's a fluctuating uh, figure really because with the bees, um, that depends on what stage in the year you're at. Are you bringing in new hives, new um, packages, yeah. say from uh, overseas, or are you doing some splits of strong hives, things like that. Uh, what we like to have is at least 300 hives. Okay. Um, that's a small commercial uh, operation here in Alberta. Alberta is the top producer of uh, producing province for honey in Canada and so you um, can get uh, at least generally in this area a hundred pounds per hive. Wow and that is insane! The peace country because they've got longer days and a lot of wide open fields uh, they can get even 200 pounds of honey per hive. Wow that's great. Yes yeah. As a small producer where are you typically selling your products? Well, we're lucky enough, and it's been our kind of business model to sell right from our site here. Yeah. And um, it's, it's sort of a, a balancing act. Uh, we started off with farmers markets uh, before we had our store developed. Yeah. But it's been, um, it, in the farmers market, that's an awful lot of work. Um, if anybody does farmers <laughs> markets, they know yeah. what I'm talking about. Uh, but here the, we have the added um, ability to do the educational part and that's a big thing for us. So we just looked at the Discovery Center and we showed you some of the bees, but one of the coolest things I think, and it's probably just because I'm an adult and all adults love wine, <laughs> um, but is the meadery because so many people don't drink mead or no mead and the first time I was here, I did your mead tasting and you, ha you guys have to come drive here, do it, it is so much fun and mead is awesome. It is, it is. Such a natural beverage and uh, this one in particular you can see it's purple. So it's made with honey, um, definitely made with honey and roughly uh, between a quarter and a half a cup of honey basically is what makes up one bottle. So wow. when you think about it, um, we also don't use any sulfites here at Chinook Arch Meadery, that's the, the mead uh, side of the business. and. Um, it's all natural. The, pa the honey that's used here is non-pasteurized. We just add water and yeast, and in this case, black currants and blueberries. So it's a health drink. Yes, it's a health absolutely. drink. Absolutely, yeah. especially if there's some medicinal spices thrown in. Yeah, also. I like it. I like it. That's beautiful. And how many different varieties of this do you make? We have about 12, I think maybe even 14 different varieties right now. Wow, that's great. So yeah, and, and so something for every palate. One that's um, not so sweet, 
Uh, some that are very sweet, more dessert style. Uh, our King Arthur's Dry is actually quite good with poultry or fish. So similar ways of using it as you would a white wine. Very nice, thank you. You're welcome. Sherry, thank you so much for this. This has been such a great day. And we're gonna end here and I'm super lucky because I'm gonna get to do a mead tasting and I'm going to try the black and blue which we were just talking about earlier but for any of you that want to come down here you guys are so generous and most people haven't mm. had mead before and you no. do mead tastings for free so people can actually drive out here spend the day learn about some bees try a little bit of mead which Absolutely. is so fun yes yeah so love that I'm gonna drink this but I just want to say to everybody who's living in and around Calgary southern Alberta central Alberta there's so many places that that we decide to go and travel for vacation without necessarily really knowing what's in our own backyard mm -hmm. and I know so for true. me even the just being out here today with you you really feel like you've stepped into another world it is so great and it's so great to support our own Alberta producers as much as humanly possible you guys are the hardest working people and in general just being able to look at the bees making your own honey is mm -hmm. super cool and I really value the education and the work that you guys are doing with schools and letting people know how important saving the bees are. Um, yes. And one last thing too, there's actually a class here for people who want to learn how to do their own beekeeping. So if you've had a dream of just putting a hive in your own backyard, uh, you can come out here, chat with Sherry, and there's some cool education on that too. Absolutely. Love it. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all the work that you do in the community and for everybody so they have a great experience when they come out. And um, that's it. Cheers, Enjoy. everybody.